Let's do a little more coloring in uh, in this episode. I'm going to uh, do this dragon. Last episode I did this one and I'm going to do this one. And of course I completely cannot remember the exact colors that I used for this one. I never remember. My... Uh, how do you say that? I, I, I have a tendency to forget things. But this is a box from the Color Along project. But I couldn't sell this one because the folding went wrong. I have a couple of these uh, messed up boxes. And I am now putting them on uh, my color coloring table. And I'm just putting in the colors that I have been using recently, so it is much easier to uh, to recall the colors that I uh, have been using. So I think these browns are the browns that I used in the uh, in the dragon. So I will use them for the other one as well. I will start with a lighter tone, a raw umber. This is a medium brown. I'm just going to put in a touch of this color. Here we have Burns Sienna. I am not really copying the uh, the other dragon. I'm just doing my thing, just exploring. Of course, I'm looking at the other draw dra uh, dragon. I don't want things to be completely different, but I'm not trying to copy things uh, too much. I'm very glad that I am. I now have a little bit of time to start coloring in the Joanna Besford's books again. And I slowly started painting again with watercolors. The last couple of months were extremely busy and uh, now that uh, that extreme busyness is over it seems I'm starting to relax a little bit more I'm still working on that color along project. I need to finish two more drawings. And um, sanguine. And a couple of videos uh, 
are still pending to be for adding uh, be, for to be added to the playlist. But that will be. Uh, It's manageable. It's not that much work anymore, and uh, so now I take a little time for some relaxing coloring. Now the light in this drawing comes from, in this drawing comes from the right, so I'm going to put in a touch of shadow on the left side of this dragon. So the light comes from this way; it hits here, but the other side will be darker. So this is dark sepia. I will start with uh, that one. I think there will be a little bit of shadow over here, behind the leg. I think this wing will cast a shadow as well. I already put in a little bit of shadow, but uh, we need more. Now that the uh, extreme busy days uh, seem to be over. I also uh, really want to start uh, to do some spring cleaning in home. I normally do that in summertime because uh, July and August are the less busy months of the year for me. But I think I, this time I will take some time off and enjoy the spring cleaning. Well, it's not so much the cleaning that I like. I like the organizing. This is uh, brown ochre. I absolutely love to organize things. Here is another brown, Van Dyke brown. It always reminds me of Bob Ross. There will be shading here as well, so let's make it a little darker. So 
So I am imagining that this is a uh, wooden statue and then I start wondering a wooden statue would you put that outside or somewhere where it isn't You know, where the rain can fall on it and snow. Because I am wondering, this door, where is this door situated in the castle? Is it the first door you encounter when you approach? approach the castle or is this the actual door to the inside of the castle? I don't know. So I put some blue over here and I'm wondering is this sky or should this be a wall? I don't know. You know, I love blue skies, so I try to squeeze in blue skies everywhere. Here is uh, burnt sienna again. I'm going to put in a little bit more burnt sienna on the wings. This afternoon I will be going for my, uh, I will be going out for, to have voice lessons myself, you know, I am a voice teacher, but I need my lessons to improve and uh, maintain my voice walnut brown so I'm actually using all the browns that I can find I'm looking forward to my voice class it has been uh, a while and there are some performances ahead so I want to prepare I like uh, going to my voice lessons. It, uh, I really like learning new skills, exploring the voice, just like I like exploring color pencils, paint, stuff like that. A little more raw umber. I always feel a bit like an outsider 
in the world of classical music. This is uh, Sanguine again. But I think I like being an outsider. I didn't have the education like many of my colleagues have. That is to say, I, I never finished con conservatory. And I studied, of course, something else first. Architectural engineering, and I think that makes a huge difference on how you experience the world of music, I think. I know people who are, com are completely devoted to uh, their music, but I like. Um, I, there are so there are so many other things that I like too. So, uh, and um, I think the most beautiful music that can be heard is the song of a blackbird. Walnut brown. Or the sound of a waterfall. Or a little creek. There was one year that I didn't sing at all. And in uh, that year, I, um, I took a class in Spanish. I took a Spanish class together with my sister, Hablo Español. <laughs> I don't remember much of it. But it was uh, so nice to learn something new. I love learning something new. So this Spanish class was really, really nice. And uh, not much later, I went on a trip to Barcelona. 
Barcelona in the northern Spain and uh, well the Spanish class was the Spanish lessons were still fresh in my memory and it really really helped me a lot on that trip it was really nice let's add a little bit of Payne's gray to intensify the shading Yeah, so uh, there is something that I have on my bucket list when it comes to learning new skills, and that is learning to play the cello. Intriguing instrument. I don't think I will ever be able to make it sound good. <laughs> But I think it is going, it would be nice to learn a little bit more about it, the cello and, well, But I don't think I will uh, start studying the cello soon. Maybe when I am older. I have so many other plans right now. I really like the look of this uh, wing. Really nice. I'll put in a touch of this paint grey. Now I have many other plans before I will start studying the cello. <laughs> First I want to launch the Color Along project for watercolors. I need to start recording the videos, but I'm first I first want to uh, be a little bit further with the uh, the color along project for, for colored pencils it's going very well people are starting to follow the instruction videos really nice they are posting their work looks gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so but there are of course still some problems that need to be solved well, that doesn't look bad at all. That looks very nice. Now, a couple of more things need to be done. For example, I need to make a decision about the color of the these lanterns. Then these things and this thing. <laughs> I need to uh, make a decision. I'm not sure yet. And the sky. Am I going to put in a blue sky or not? For the sake of the beauty of blue skies, maybe I just should make a blue sky. Why not? Go for it. 
light phthalo blue one of my favorite blues After I have um, managed the little problems that need to be solved with the Color Along project for colored pencil, then I will start recording the uh, videos for the watercolor watercolor along project. And when that is all done, then I will start a new project that I've been thinking about oh, for uh, quite a while and I'm not exactly sure yet how that will, in what form it will come, but the idea is this. I love the outdoors but I don't go out the door that often I tend to stay indoors and I think many other people are going out into nature less than they should in my case, you know, I live in a suburban area. There is no wilderness here. There is actually, there is no wilderness in the Netherlands. So if I want to experience wilderness, true wilderness, I think the closest area where you can experience true wilderness, maybe it is somewhere in Poland, or the north of, of Scandinavia, the rest of Europe, it's, an, you know, man touch it, touched everything in Europe. So, but when I want to experience, so when I want to experience true wilderness, I need to uh, go far away. But, there, there is nature here. We have beautiful forests in the Netherlands. We have the sea, the beaches, the dunes, sand dunes. But I don't go there that, that often. Because I have to go, take, take the car, drive, because in this suburban area where I live there, it cannot be found. But of course there is nature here, in my own neighborhood as well. Yesterday I took a picture of a lovely daisy covered in um, dew drops. It was early morning. Gorgeous little daisy. It was right across the street, in front of our house, and I took a picture of it. It is uh, on my personal Facebook page and on the Instagram account, so you can take a look. So what I would like to do with this project is to get out a little bit more and take you with me 
and I would like to uh, work together with people from all over the world to, you know, to explore nature just around nature on our own doorstep and then turn the pictures we make or the drawings that we make into one big wonderful I don't know a painting I, I have no idea but I'd like to work together and bring together nature from all over the world and turn it into something beautiful so I'm thinking about how we can make that happen I'm not so sure about this uh, blue sky it looks a bit alien actually but I think if I put in a touch of blue in these things and over here maybe even put some blue into the lanterns that might work actually okay well here is a warning I'm going to um, experiment experiment so I'm not sure if this will work but uh, we'll see this is cobalt blue This looks very, very interesting. Let's put in this darker blue, the Prussian blue here as well. And I will add a touch of the cobalt blue. I need to do more work, that is for sure. But uh, I really like this, really like it. Oh, do you see that? on my hand <laughs> yeah I had a little accident with uh, a ladder my fingers got stuck between two parts of the ladder that was not funny 
it was quite painful but um, well I'm doing better now so yeah I really like this I'm going to uh, work uh, on this more in the next episode and um, I hope uh, you will join me then I see you then bye bye